guys, Derek here. Um, the FedEx guy brought us a surprise a day early. Well, what do we have here? Could it be? It is. Fuel tank strap. And a brand spanking new painted fuel tank for the Dynasty. So, now I guess the, uh, the only logical thing to do would be to put that there fuel tank in that there Dodge Dynasty. See if we can make it a running car again. So I guess the, the thing to do is make uh, unboxing videos. I guess that makes your uh, your car run better when it's done if you do a video of the unboxing. So. And of course I don't have a tripod. So. I can set you down where you can see. That's downright nice. Filler. The vent tube. I was not expecting this to be painted. I'm quite pleasantly surprised by the quality. There's supposed to be the, uh, the locking ring kit. Please check end flaps. Okay. And now we're going to have paraphernalia all over the home front. I said I was a YouTuber, guys. I never said I was any good. Probably be the worst video you watch all day. Okay, please check both in flaps and hot rooms and warnings. That's awesome. I don't think my fuel sender on the or the the yeah the fuel sending unit not for the gauge for the pump. I don't think it's any good. But that there Plymouth Acclaim has a brand new non-working junk Chinese replica imitation fuel pump in it. The housing is good. It's not rusty. I think we can salvage that to put the 40,000 mile OEM original. Chrysler Dynasty fuel pump in that sender in here. So once I uh, get a little farther into it, I'll show you well, more. What do you say we grab the power wagon and we move the Dynasty up a little closer to the, uh, the palace so we can work on her? Use the RV and the trailer as a wind block because it is windy and it is cold today. hasn't been started in a couple, two, three weeks. Manuel choke. There it is. Not enough manual choke. carburetor may or may not require some fine tuning along with uh, the valves. Lazy Chrysler syndrome. Worked good but when it runs or doesn't run I should say for a while the fluid leaks out of the torque converter and makes them lazy for a second. Look at all the 
how close we're getting. Pretty close to being lined up. Got a little bit of a load on it. We're cleaning on the yard when we bought this place. So you don't look like much now, but you should have seen it when we bought it. Garbage everywhere. That whole barn there, full. And I don't mean some. I mean that whole building was full. So it's been a, it's been a process. But that's not the topic of the video. You want the hitch face the other way up. It's still pretty low. Hope it'll go down low enough. on the block. She's pinned. Good enough. Truck really got some weight in the back of her. It's not just wood. There's also a load of uh, probably a ton of uh, brakes drums and rotors to go to the scrapyard and then the uh, plans changed and the garbage see there's some so you don't think my Dodge is just squatting from a load of rotten wood there's a ton of Detroit steel in there yeah real warm out today Those. I don't know. I don't think I've showed this truck on the channel before. This truck is a 74 factory 360 truck, but she has a 71 318 two-burner car out of a 71B series van, only because that's what we had. I think our transcription might be a little low on oil. Trying to show what I'm doing. We are not a fan at all of uh, early 90s Chrysler products around here. Okay. This was not done intentionally. The 91 Dynasty put in between the uh, 91 Voyager Daily Driver and the 93 Grand Voyager. Was a Daily Driver, will be again. She's down for some, uh, actually just rust repair. It's not terrible. I mean, there's a lot worse ones out there. She's still... She's still one complete vehicle. Besides the road salt side. It's a little worse, but uh, that was really the only reason I parked this van. It runs good. But when you leave the key on, the battery goes dead. Anyways, the object of our mission here, I think my camera batteries are going dead. They don't like the cold any better than anything else. Right here, the rusty, crusty fuel tank, which has so thoughtfully started uninstalling itself. The strap has already undone itself for us. I don't know if we can see the the level of crust on that fuel tank cylinder. That's what I was talking about earlier, having to possibly take the one off the acclaim, because it's bad. This one, the fuel level sender, I think that'll clean up. No problem. 
But that thing, I don't know, once we get it out of here, we'll take a look at it, but I don't really have a whole lot of faith that it's going to leak. But the underside of the car isn't terrible. The exhaust is new. That fuel tank is just, just gross. Somebody, for some reason, has put a replacement rear axle under it. Newer shocks. Fairly new exhaust. The frame rails are actually in pretty good shape yet. Surface rust on them, but I, I spent quite a lot of time underneath this car with a hammer tapping on the, the framework to make sure she was going to be safe to drive. And it is. It's fine. Doors are crusty. Rockers are crusty. So that's why the decision was made to use it as a winter beater. There's not a straight panel on this car. There's dents and dings and rust on virtually every panel. Although as I say this, I really don't see anything wrong with the hood. The right front fender. This door is caved in, scuffed. Quarters caved in and scuffed. Tail light is broken. Easy fixes of a couple of these cars left around. Big old dent here with the trims and the glove box for both of these. Actually, this quarter, aside from a little rust, is, well, this car really isn't that bad. But it's it's too far gone to be a nice car. This is stoved in. But all in all, it's still pretty presentable for 91 and. The previous video I may have explained a little bit about the backstory on this car, but uh, this car belonged to uh, to someone's grandma, and uh, she uh, she passed on sadly, and left the car to her family who did not have a use or a need for the vehicle, so it was taken back to their residence and it was parked for this is uh, 2019. Uh, I think it is October 14th. The tags expired November of 2011. So this car sat for roughly eight years. I don't know. I almost kind of want to think by the way they talked that the car has been started up and driven maybe just to move it from point A to point B because they said the car had only been sitting for a couple, two, possibly three years without being started. But who knows, maybe it's longer. But the inside of this car is gorgeous. But there's the uh, there's the cool part right there. That is actual original 41,511 miles. There's no wear on this interior at all. The headliner, like every other 91 Dynasty, is shot. But other than that, this car is going to clean up quite nice. I'm quite proud to own this thing. So yeah, we'll get her up on some blocks, get us some more room to work, and I'll uh, we'll show you some more on the fuel tank removal. Well, just two or three curse words later, the crusty fuel cell has been successfully extricated. The uh, rubber fuel tank bushing did not survive. I had an inkling, I was going to order one, and then for some reason that never happened, but she's torn. It's still kind of pliable, but I don't know if you've ever done one of these things. But this little turkey buzzard here is not exactly what I would consider to be the easiest thing to remove from the car. And this has to come out before the fuel tank will come out of the car. So you got to drop the tank down, remove this wheel, turn the filler neck around back and forth and reposition the tank uh, 38 times and then she comes right out. So the uh, fuel tank unfortunately will not be going back in the car tonight, but we'll get it tore apart, get everything as far done as we can. Um, the reason for that being, the farther we go into the project, the more likely we are to run into things we didn't know we needed. So, I'm going to attempt to get the uh, fuel sender out of the highly acclaimed Plymouth Acclaim. 
because this one just does not uh, does not inspire a ton of confidence in me. So yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I I don't even know how many holes were in this fuel tank, but when we tried to get the car started to get it up on the trailer, this thing looked like a sprinkler.